barge in here, Warren. Does somebody want to fill me in? Rapists don't generally come calling on their victims, do they? Even with a police escort. Oh, the detectives are here for your protection. Not that you ever needed any from me. So who's this? Your bodyguard? Oh, I I'm sorry. Uh, I'm being rude. May I present Dr. Opelka? Doctor? Uh, Mr. Warren is representing himself in this case. You've got to be kidding. I'm deadly serious. Is there no end to your arrogance? He may be representing himself. That does not give him the right to harass Blake, correct? Oh, I am well within my rights to Mr. be here. Mr. Warren huh? was granted permission by the court to conduct a medical evaluation by an independent physician. Dr. Opelka. It's not enough I'm in a wheelchair. I can't walk. Now I have to be subjected to the indignity of yet another doctor poking at me just because he wants me to? Blake, we are so sorry about this. Let me tell you truly. something. If this is not a good time, we can definitely As do this. As a matter of fact, we don't have to. We can time. just pull yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just get this over with. Providing this doctor's accredited. You do have a medical degree, doctor? I'm a Harvard MD. Dr. Opelka is the preeminent neurologist at Boston Memorial. Oh, my, my. Ivy League educated. Known in his field. Only the best for Mr. Moore, Warren, right? Unfortunately, the best won't save his hide. Ooh. Let me help you. Let's get this over with. We'll do it in the guest room. I will be present for the examination. I trust you have no objection. Fine, let's get this circus act over with. How about a little martini first? Go to hell. <laughs> you follow me, doctor? No, you're a lovely piece of work. Thank you. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose real big. And let me tell you something. Nothing is gonna make me happier than see you go to jail for hurting Blake. I believe you. You better. Last time I saw you was in the police station. I remember. You were all hyped up about some proof you had to exonerate yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, left you in the office, came back, you were gone. So what happened to the supposed evidence you had? Oh, I had everything I needed to walk and see Blake charged with slander. Oh, really? Yeah. And what would that be, a, a note from your priest? Oh, no, I don't have a priest. Something much better than that. Oh, I can't even imagine. Actually, you gave me the idea. Me? Yeah, after you arrested me. And I was in the holding cell telling you about my innocence. Uh. Yes, telling you that Blake really knew what happened, that eventually she would tell the truth. And you said the only way you would believe me is if I got her confession on tape. So you're standing here telling me that you actually got her to confess on tape? I taped her in the hospital. And she admitted I didn't rape her. And that the only thing that happened before Ross walked in on us was that we made perfect, glorious love. Is uh, Marina all set to go swimming with Lizzie? Great. Uh, honey, I know we're not the country club type, but come on. She, she had her heart set on it. I'll talk to you later. All right, bye. So you destroyed the tape, is that it? Yeah. Okay, let me get this straight. You had proof that would have acquitted you of a rape charge and you destroyed it? Yes. And you did that because you're stupid, Because you're... I thought it would cause Blake too much pain, but that was a bad move on my part. I, I, I just want to make sure I'm hearing this right. <laughs> the great Ben Warren, brilliant legal mind that you are, is admitting to a miscalculation? Yes. You know, you really do take the cake. You really do. I mean, if you think I'm going to buy this little story of yours, I'm sure you must think there's some bridge in Brooklyn you want to sell to me as well. Got one of those? Well, I must have overestimated you then. But that's okay. I recover quickly. And what is that supposed to mean? I'm going after Blake Marler with my full arsenal. And believe me, I'm loaded. <laughs> So, Doctor, how'd it go? I concur with the reports from Cedars. You can find nothing wrong with Miss Marlowe? 
There's no discernible physical reason. But yet she can't walk. You sure? I'm in a wheelchair, for God's sake. You think I'm enjoying being pushed around like this? Stop the torture now. We have complied with the court order. Will that be all? Ease up, Warren. Now, ju just a second. I want to make sure I understand what Dr. Opelka is saying here. Now, you're convinced there is nothing physically wrong with Mrs. Marler, and yet she's lost the use of her legs. Could she be faking? Don't let him get to you, Blake. No, and I've seen every insurance fraud imaginable. Yeah. You know what, Mr. Warren? I think your time's just about up. Yeah, it's time to leave now. Up. Excuse me. Now, is there a treatment you might recommend, Doctor? I have a doctor already. Thank you very much. I don't want advice from someone on your payroll. I I've written a prescription for a mild tranquilizer. I don't want any more pills. You do seem a tad agitated. Now. I wonder why. I'm sure I'll feel a lot better when you're gone. Well, no, maybe Dr. Opelka's right. We, we all know how detrimental stress is to our health. Now, if you could just relax, you might be able to walk again. Why don't you take your pills and shove them? Well, of course, you have to do what you have to do. But if you choose to ignore a court-ordered expert's opinion, then it might be construed as resisting treatment. And I can't imagine why you wouldn't want to get well, Blakey. You got what you came for. It's amazing, isn't it? Power of the human mind. Your conscience is so burdened by telling so many vicious lies, your body just froze up. Now, if it were me, I'd tell the truth and walk. I'd want to run across the lawn, play with my boys. Your sons, who were both suddenly returned to you and Ross. But hey, that's just me. I'd rather be a parent than a liar. We all make our own choices, don't we? That's it, Warren. Time to say goodbye. Okay, wait a second, Frank. Can you spell a salt bozo? Out. You know what? Your time's up. Okay, time to leave. No, just a second. I think that I have something more to say here. No. Then fine, say it and get it out. All right. In the interest of speeding up this pesky little case, I want you all to know that my list of witnesses will be rather lengthy given Blake's very checkered past with men and her manipulation of them. Naturally, numerous denizens of our fair city will be called. All those who knew Blake in the biblical sense. And I think we know who makes that list, don't we? Well, we...